Okay, guys, it's Mr. Calderon with Queen My Pond. So, I was talking about the integer object in Python last video. So, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, which will show us exactly what that looks like. So, an integer object is any number like 52 or even 5200 or 52, whatever that is. Okay, like if you put type right here, you're gonna see that it's an integer object. So you can see it just has integer. So if we type in the size of this, so I'm gonna copy and paste this right now. And let's, let's put in, um, let's go to the sys library and let's use the get size of function. And, and that'll tell us the size of this. It says 32, right? So when we go and just put in 52, it tells us 28. Now I understand why you would probably need 32 bytes even though it's still a little too much for this, but why 28 bytes for a small number like 52? Like if you saw my video in binary, which you should have, then you can see that the representation of 28 is like only like um, five bits. So you should check that for yourself that you only need five bits for 28. And like, this is too much, right? But I talked about how there's overhead. Now, my biggest concern in this video is this, is that when you put in sys get size of a um, 31 bit number, or actually, okay, look, let's do a refresher real quick before I put this in. So if we look on Zyport and we do um, th uh, eight, four bytes, four, then that's 32 spots, right? Cause that's 32 bits. Cause eight times four is 32. Every byte has eight bits. Now we already discussed how the first one is for either a negative or positive number. So really we only have 31 spaces. And since we have 31 spaces, that means that if we count, we're going to start off here, two to the zero, two to the first, and so on, until we get to two to the 30. When you have um, some number of spaces, then the power is one less. For example, if I have three spaces for my bits, then it's going to be two to the zero, two to the first, two to the second. So this was, this is three bits, but that's only two to the second. Just like this is 31 bits, but that's two to the 30. It's the same thing. All right, here, 31 spaces. And here it's three spaces. Now the bottom one is just an example. Okay, it doesn't have any particular meaning. So you can see the three and the two right here. And you can see the 31 and the 30. They're one apart. All right. So logic says that the biggest number should be um, one, 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 and so on, right? So it should be two to the 30 minus one, right? Or actually, um, hold on, that's uh, not two to the 30 minus one, that's two to the 31st minus one. So, if we put that in, then um, you're gonna see that two to the, oh, sorry, that's not a power. This is a power, that was confusing me. You can see that that's um, one over, right? But if we put in two to the 30, it's also one over. Now, let's go down by one more, two to the 29, and you can see that now we're in the right spot. It's only um, four bytes. But what's interesting is that even though two to the 30 is one more byte, two to the 30 minus one is only like now, it's like, this should be the biggest number, but it's not. It's only, um, it's not two to the 31st minus one, it's two to the 30 minus one. So what gives, what happened to that extra, that extra bit? Did it just disappear off planet earth? Here's another example, if you're still confused about what I'm talking about. 
consider a 64-bit number this time. That means that we have 64 spaces, but knowing that this one is for the sign, we only have 63 spaces, which means that this is two to the 62nd, two to the 61st, and so on, right? And so you get to two to the zero, two to the first, blah, blah, blah. So the biggest number should be two to the 63 minus one, right? But as it turns out, let, we're gonna put that in here. Two to the 63. Yeah, that makes sense. You need eight more bytes. What about two to the 63 minus one? That should be one less, right? That should be 32 bytes, but it's not. In fact, two to the 62nd is not, neither is two to the 61st. And in fact, it's only until you get to two to the 60 minus one. And that's like a lot of numbers that we just lost. And that really, that really bugs me. But there's a reason why that's true. So I was looking around and I was, and I found this page that says, um, use 30 bit digits instead of 15 bit digits. And I'm not the only one with this question. So, um, let's see, I, I had it here. Hold on while I look for it. Basically here. And why 30 bits and not 31 bits or 63 bits? So that's what they're talking about here is that why, why do you have 30 bits? What happened to the extra bit? Now, this guy said it's mostly laziness. The change from 15 to 30 bits turned out to be extraordinarily easy. That makes sense. And it does explain to some inefficiency. But after digging around some more, it says, 31 bits would involve rewriting the powering algorithm. So this powering algorithm assumes that pi long shift is divisible by five. And then it says it would gain very little over 30 bits. So basically what they're saying is this algorithm is really, really good if you use powers of 30. I mean, powers of um, that are divisible by five. So like two to the 15, two to the 30. So that makes, that makes a lot of sense to me um, that the algorithm, it would basically make more sense. So um, when I dug around into the actual Python, like how it's implemented. So this is like the, the engine of Python. Okay, it's written in C. That's, it's called C Python. It's like the engine, it's what makes Python work. So now it says this section. Um, long power must be um, required. This function requires that the pi long shift variable be divisible by five. And, okay. Then it says the Marshall code currently expects that pi long shift is a multiple of 15. And then I'm like, what is the Marshall code? So then I found this. Contains functions that can read and write Python values in a binary format. So Turns out that um, this code runs more efficiently if you use five ARI instead of like binary. So um, that's the reason why there is some loss of inefficiency. And then you can see the values 50 and 30 should fit all of the above requirements on any platform. So um, that basically makes sense. And that's why I made this video. I had to answer that question because it was bothering me for like a couple of days. I'd like to make videos about questions that bother me because if it bothers me for a couple of days, imagine someone else who they might, it might even not even bother them at all because they're like, you know what, this is way too complicated. But me, I get anxious when something's unanswered. And some people don't like to deal with that anxiety. So that's, um, that's a trade off. Well, I hope you like this video about why Python only has 15 bit or 30 bit numbers uh, in integers. Now, of course, there's no limit. You can put as many, um, you can put as many digits as you want, but I just needed to know why you increase by four bytes every time that 
um, you had a power of that was um, divisible by 15. Or not 15, but like 15, 30, 60, 120, and so on. So that, yeah, that answers the question. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like um, by clicking the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button. Comment if you still have any questions and I'll see you on the next one.